Hey, Mr. Purple here, and in this little video, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about electrical circuits and circuit diagrams. So, when we're thinking about circuits, we use circuit diagrams to show us what components are in the circuit and how they're actually connected together. Okay, we use these symbols like this one here. This is a circuit diagram symbol. This is a symbol. Whereas this is just a picture of a, of a cell, that's just a picture of a light bulb. So we use these symbols as a sort of international language. So when anyone sees a symbol like this, they know exactly what we're talking about. It doesn't matter how they draw a light bulb, the symbol always stays the same. Okay. So you need to be able to recognise some of these most common symbols and what these components are actually used for. So these are some of the symbols you probably already recognise. These are ones you might have seen already in uh, in science. Okay, first of all, we've got this one here, which is for a light bulb. Okay, light bulb in a circuit just acts as an indicator that emits light when a current passes through it. Okay, next along here, you'll recognise this one as well. This is a switch, and the switch is currently open. Okay, but when I close the switch, that obviously enables the current to flow. So a switch enables you to switch on and off the current in a circuit. OK, this is the uh, symbol for a power supply. OK, and what the power supply does is just pushes the electrons around the circuit and moves the electrons and moving electrons is electricity. Over here, we have got an ammeter, which is what we use to measure the current, which is the flow of um, charge through the circuit. And finally, down the bottom here, we have got the symbol for a voltmeter, which measures the potential difference or the voltage in a circuit. So that's some of the more common components you might have met already, but on the throughout this course we're going to meet some other components which you need to have um, some knowledge of. Firstly, this symbol here, okay, which is a uh, triangle um, joined to a straight line there, okay, inside a circle, is what we can refer to as a diode. And the symbol shows a diode which only allows current to flow in one direction. So current's allowed to flow in this direction, the direction the arrow is pointing, but if the current tries to come back in this direction, boop, it comes up against the wall, doesn't let the current flow that way. Okay, there's another type of diode we might come across here, which is this one, and you can see it's the same symbol, but this time with arrows coming out from it. Okay, this is what we call a light emitting diode. You might have heard it called an LED before. Okay, so that is a diode that emits light when the current passes through it. Okay, next up we have something called resistors, which is basically just like a box on the line. Okay, and what a resistor does is it limits the flow of current through a circuit. OK, another type of resistor we might come up against, though, is this one, which is the same symbol, this time just with an arrow going through it like that. OK, this is what we call a variable resistor. And a variable resistor just enables you to, as the name suggests, vary the amount of resistance in the circuit and therefore vary the amount of current in the circuit. So we know that a resistor can be used to limit the flow of current through a circuit, but there's a couple of other types of uh, resistor that we actually ha like to have uh, think about now. Okay, first one is this one here. So the symbol's the same again. This time we've just got the box here. This time we've got some arrows coming into it and the circle around it. Well, this is actually what we call a light-dependent resistor, or an LDR. And an LDR varies its resistance due to the amount of light that's hitting it. OK, so the resistance of that one is going to change depend on the light that falls on it. The other one we need to have a think about is this one, which is called a thermistor. Now, if you had to guess, what do you think might uh, be the thing that varies the current here? Well, therm is the um, is the clue to do with thermal, so it's to do with heat. And this is a resistor that varies its resistance based on its temperature. OK, so again, it's just the box again, this time with a flat line with a uh, uh, line up through it there. OK. The last two we're going to consider are firstly a fuse, and a fuse you'll learn is something which is designed to melt or blow or break when too great a current flows through a circuit. Okay, So this fuse is actually a safety device. All it is is just a box, but this time, unlike the resistor, the line keeps on going through the middle of it. Okay, and last one we might come up against is this one here, which I've drawn rather scrappily. But what this is is a box with lines down through it like that. Okay, and this shows us a heater, which is a, a device that's been designed to transfer electrical to heat energy. So by knowing these symbols, if I see a circuit that looks at something a bit like this, I can tell exactly what's going on, no matter what language I speak or what my drawing ability is like. I can see exactly what's going on here. I can see that I've got a nine volt power supply which is uh, powering my circuit. I've got a ammeter, which is measuring the current in the circuit. 
is connected up to a diode, which is allowing the current to flow in this direction, but not back in the other direction. The diode is connected up to a light-dependent resistor, which varies the um, flow of current through the circuit based on the amount of light which is coming down and hitting it. Okay. Finally, in my circuit, I've got a bulb, which obviously lights up when it's all connected. When the circuit is complete, the bulb will light up. And I'm also measuring the voltage across that bulb. So they are the main components we're going to need to know about when we're talking about electrical circuits during this unit of work. Any problems with any of those, don't hesitate to tweet me at Mr. Underscore Pepperell, and I'll get back to you ASAP. Thanks for stopping by.